football is in no way, shape or form the thing that I'm best at. Um, and knowing that it's easy to make excuses, you know, it's easy to get sidetracked and think maybe I should just focus on making content, building ballers, find a way, a good YouTube channel, TikTok. I know I've got talents as a coach. I know I can help a lot of players. But when you start a journey that is rooted in self-reflection, that is rooted in, man, I, I started pursuing football because I didn't like who I was, you know? I started this physical pursuit just to see how far I could take it, how much I could push myself mentally because I just used to escape from life, man. I just used to hide um, behind drink, smoking, you know, spending time with people but still feeling alone, trapped in your own head, using excuse after excuse as to why I didn't like life, just used to complain, point the fingers at other people. And I got injured at the start of the season, MCL, first game, first game of the season I got injured. And it took six weeks to recover, eight weeks to recover, I wasn't in a good team, went for trials over the summer was let down a little bit by people who I thought were going to help me out to find clubs so I had to go and find them myself when I was unsuccessful in the, in the other I didn't like the club made mistakes took setbacks and allowed those setbacks to turn into failures because a setback remains as a setback a mistake remains as a mistake if you keep going and it only turns to a failure when you quit and I quit I thought, oh, maybe playing's not for me. Maybe, maybe I should give up. Maybe this journey isn't right. And the thing is, is that when I go to silence, when I allow myself to hear that, that voice in my head that just whispers to me, it tells me that I know I'm just using it as an excuse. How can I point a finger at someone else to find me a football club when I could have maybe worked harder and taken those opportunities that I found myself, when I could have found better opportunities myself? How can I say that I never made it because I got an MCL injury that kept me out for six to eight weeks and it slowed my progress down? How can I say that, oh, yeah, no, at 24, like, money just became more important. Yeah, cool, but that's also a lie. It's also a convenient excuse, you know? And it's fine because other people would understand it, right? Oh yeah, man, it's, it's a stage of life thing. Like you're getting older, you're thinking about, um, you're thinking about being more of an adult, maybe taking care of a family at one point in your life later on. But it would always sit with me. I would always know that it was a lie. Always know that there was something left undone that I didn't try and find out if I could really do something in this sport as a player. Um, sometimes you just have to go to silence, man. You just have to block out noise and just sit by yourself in a fucking room. Go for a walk. No music, no phone, no distractions. Just alone with your own thoughts. And if you can't hear them, do something difficult. Go on a run. Go on a run and you'll hear them. I started running again at the start of this year. And a voice in my head was so strong telling me to quit, man. I've been comfortable for months. Oh, no, I'm, I might try and be more of an entrepreneur. I might try and build this YouTube thing and maybe I can become a coach. Just because I didn't want to do work. But my self-esteem dropped. My confidence dropped. My self-respect fell through the floor. Because when you know you're not acting in a way that's true to yourself, then how can you respect yourself? When you know that you quit, when you know that you gave up when it got a little bit difficult, how can you respect yourself? It's not possible, man. So it's time for me to start earning my self-respect back going back to Alicante 
And I just thought, I filmed this, I've never posted something like this before. Just be raw, be honest. Um, the thing that holds me back from posting this isn't the people on the channel. It's like what would my friends think or the people that I kind of know. But I don't, I don't do this for them. I do it for you people who, who follow me and ask the same questions. The people who have the same dreams, the same desires, who allow yourself to hear that same whispering voice that asks you what if. That is really who I do it for, man. So, no edits on this one, no intros, no outros. Um, and the final thing for me that, that did it was, how can I say at the end of each video, ballers find a way, when I couldn't even find a way over one little injury? I couldn't find my way through a couple of rejections from clubs. No, man. I can't run. That can't run. Leaders can't tell people what to do. They have to show them. And if I want to try and help you guys be better, I have to show you. So, with that being said, ballers find a way.